Alright, here we are today at the uh, DJI event in uh, the Navy Yard, actually in Brooklyn. Manhattan is right across the river, you'll see that in some of the uh, B-roll footage that we have. And of course we have the new drones, and for comparison reasons I brought the original DJI Mavic Pro. The new one is slightly heavier, slightly bigger, but not by much I would say. One um, of the biggest differences is the battery, I know it's a lot, it's a lot more chunky. And yeah. I was really hoping that we might be able to use the same battery on the Mavic 2. Yeah. That would save a lot of people a lot of money, but they seem to have this new proprietary battery. I know it would for me. I got uh, seven of these yep. bad boys and they're pretty much uh, worthless right now. Uh, we'll put this one away. That's the old, in with the new. Um, here we have the DJI Mavic Pro, or the Mavic 2 Pro with the Hasselblad 1 inch uh, sensor. I think this is the one, at least based on the poll on our website, that a lot of people are very interested in. Yeah, so the overall design of the drone, I really like that they made these small minor tweaks that really help. So when we first saw the leaks come through, we first saw the drone, it looks like just the same old Mavic Pro, but they made a lot of different design tweaks, one of which is a small light on the bottom that helps it land when there's low light, which I think is yeah. great. It helps that. Um, also, we have some new ventilation on the sides. And we've also got optical avoidance basically all the way around. We've got a set of sensors on the top, the sides, the back, the bottom, and the front. Yeah, I think they, uh, they really did what they were explaining during uh, the event. They improved on any aspect of this drone. Uh, the props are quieter now. The folding mechanism feels better. The drone feels more solid. It's still the same overall shape, but it's more aerodynamic, I would say. Uh, better flight performance, longer flight time, distance has been increased. We have what uh, omnidirectional sensors for obstacle avoidance. OcuSync 2.0. Yeah, new quick shot feature with the dolly zoom on the zoom model. Yeah, and we actually got a chance to fly these drones outside, um, and it was a ton of fun. It didn't really feel all that different, just because when we were uh, outside, it's not the best testing area. But I could feel that it was a little bit quicker. Yeah, it definitely feels more sporty. Uh, you'll recognize the same control. Um, I don't think they've changed that much to it. What I did see is that they have a switch on the side that now moves between normal tripods and sports boats, which is nice. And now these little knobs come off, just like with the Mavic Air. I think everybody was kind of expecting that as well. Yeah, that's um, probably good. It's be, a it, nice feature. It's going to be implemented in most of DJI drones going forward. Really quickly, heading back to the drone itself, something that I like is that they've tweaked the LED design. So now we have LEDs on every single arm. If you remember with the original Mavic Pro, we only had one LED on the back in the middle, and it's sometimes it's hard to see when flying at nighttime. But now we've got LEDs that actually resemble the Inspire 2's LEDs, which I think are just perfect. Much easier to, uh, to navigate and know where you are. Yeah. Now, I guess we'll get onto these cameras, because that seems to probably be the biggest yeah. change. Now, we've got two different versions. We've got the Mavic 2 Zoom, we've got the Mavic 2 Pro, and you can't just go and buy one of the cameras and switch them. If you want to switch them, you're going to have to send them into the DJI, and they'll have one of their technicians, I guess, switch the camera for you, and they'll send it back. Otherwise, you're pretty much uh, stuck with the camera that you choose. Um, again, the Pro model has the one-inch sensor, uh, the Hasselblad uh, camera. Um, gives you what? Well, gives you 4K video, not at 60 frames per second, unfortunately. I know a lot of you were hoping that it would. Uh, it's limited at 30. Um, I think it's somewhat suspicious because I'm pretty sure the sensor probably is able to do 60 frames per second. I think what they're doing is trying to protect the Phantom series of drones. Yeah, and once they upgrade that Phantom series, something like they did with, or something like Samsung did with their phones, is they brought 4K60 in the software update. So yeah. maybe once we see a new set of Phantoms, we'll see uh, this update roll out from DJI, but that's just me speculating. Yeah, it'd be nice if that uh, came true actually. <laughs> now with the zoom camera, we've got the original uh, one by two thirds or one over two thirds sensor, SEMO sensor, but this time we can actually zoom. It's optical zoom, we can do a telephoto zoom. Yeah. It's 24 millimeters to 48 millimeters, and I can say from flying it, it zooms in pretty far. Yeah, and then it extends, what, to 98 millimeters uh, digital zoom, think, yep. right? Yeah, digital So you get pretty much a telephoto lens at that point, uh, but you lose the 4K ability. Uh, yeah. I think that's limited to 1080p, uh, so you lose some of your video capability if you zoom in that far. You are still able to shoot some slow motion video with the zoom or with both of these cameras, as you can shoot full HD in 1080p, or I'm sorry, you can shoot 120 frames per second in full HD, so you can still get that slow motion video but there's just no 4K at 60. Um, another thing to point out is that the dolly zoom effect is limited, of course, only to the zoom version. So if you buy the Pro model, you won't have access to that feature. The thing is, although it is limited, you can still do a dolly zoom in post with the one inch version, with the Pro version, although you will, it's not gonna be lossless quality. Yeah. Um, I think one of the other things they pointed out during the event as well is that the uh, active track has been uh, dramatically increased or improved. 
and we'll have to test it in real life but I'm pretty sure now that the drone is going to be able to follow you as you go down the slope as well which would really, uh, be really amazing and actually gets close I don't know that close to the performance of the Skydio R1 uh, but any step in that direction of course would be amazing for a uh, prosumer drone like this. Yeah so rather than seeing objects in 2D now the drone is going to be able to use all of its sensors to really create a map in, in real time and create a 3D image rather than just a 2D image and I think that all, all around they really improved a lot of the software features within the Mavic 2 series of drones. Yeah. So which one do you think you're going to buy? Is it uh, the Zoom or the Pro model? Well, I've already bought the Pro model. I'm a big resolution junkie, 20 megapixels. I love the Phantom 4 Pro because of its camera. And now that I can basically get that same camera, uh, plus or minus a few features here and there in a smaller package, I'm game. Yeah, I, uh, I totally agree with that. I think the Zoom features are very nice. and. Uh, in certain situations it can be very useful, especially like say in wildlife uh, situations where you want to be able to report uh, an animal from a distance. However, like Billy said, I'm a, uh, somewhat of a junkie for resolution as well, so I definitely go for the one inch sensor, get the enhanced uh, dynamic range and just more resolution. Yeah, so the price point on this, the Mavic 2 Zoom is going to be $12.49, a little bit of a weird price point here. So $12.49, the Pro is... 1449 $14.50. It's really weird, it might be $14.49, but I remember when looking at the price, when going to order, it just felt a little off. Now, one of the things is we still haven't really had a clear answer from DJI as to why this product was delayed. Uh, it's been almost two months. Uh, on the upsides, you can start ordering them today and they have them in inventory. I think shipping is about two days, so if you order now, you'll have your drone in two days. And I think that's something to get uh, really excited about. Yeah, and the great thing is that DJI has done away with their Fly More combo. It's now the Fly More kit. So if you just purchase your drone but still want the option to buy the Fly More combo at a later date, you can go ahead and purchase that for, I believe, like $319. Which yeah, and it still gets you pretty much the same. Uh, extra props, more batteries. And this time it comes with a car charger, which is huge. Yeah, that's a big plus as well. Um, anything else that we left out at this point? I think that's about it. I'm really excited to actually get this drone out. Oh, we've also got 8 gigabytes of internal storage. That's yeah. something that I like, although with this bigger drone, with the Pro version and, you know, not a Mavic Air, I wish we saw something like 16 gigabytes. Yeah, 8 gigabytes seems a little limited. 8 sense. gigabytes when shooting in 4K is only going to get you about one flight, which kind of sucks. But. but you can still put a micro SD card in as well. So you have the 8 gigabytes to back you up, and then, of course, you put your own cards in. Um, they changed the LED lights on the battery, did you? Yeah, yeah, you know, as a whole, the battery is just totally different. It's so chunky. Um, but I think that this design looks a lot cleaner than having the LEDs run down the center. Yeah, I think all around it's a uh, it's a much improved Mavic uh, Pro drone, basically, now called the Mavic 2. It's a little confusing. You have two models, so you have to make up your mind to see which one you want. But I think all around it's a much better drone. Yeah, so. it's the, it was definitely worth the wait. Cool. All right. See you guys later. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you.